The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, from parts unknown, Humongous! And we're starting things off in Memphis and in hot. The from Denham Springs, Louisiana, Johnny Lyons! We're starting things off this week rather hot, opening up with Humongous, and just look at the size of that man. I'm curious if the Crowleys are lurking. Anytime you see Humongous, you know the Crowleys aren't far behind. And Johnny Lyons in here just a couple of weeks back against one of the biggest men in championship wrestling. And here today, he's got another one. The biggest man in Memphis wrestling. It's Humongous. And you got, what, six foot, eight inch, 280 pound Humongous against five foot, six inches tall. 170 pound Johnny Lyons. Exactly. If I was Johnny Lyons, I would not have handpicked this opponent. Well, Johnny Lyons is a fighter. He's fighting, swinging with everything he has. Oh. Ooh, yeah, you don't want to do that with Humongous. He will definitely Lyons. have to pull out some more tricks from his sleeve because slapping him on the chest is not going to do No, anything. that's not going to do anything to Humongous. But Johnny Lyons, he's showing some guts, showing some heart, just stepping in the ring there today here on Championship Wrestling from Memphis with Humongous. Humongous doesn't even feel threatened. Basically opening up his body saying, give me your best shot. I mean, even if he did, he's got the Crowley's lurk lurking somewhere and he just knows. Shoots him to the buckle and down goes Johnny Lyons. Can anybody, can anything control this madman? He's, he's on a war path. He's just been on the loose ever since the premiere of Championship Wrestling from Memphis, and what a boot to the face! He is a beast. That is gonna leave a shoe print on his face, I believe. I'll say. You've talked about teeth over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I actually was gonna say, I think he lost one earlier. Big but... choke slam, and it's all academic from here. That one, two, three, that's it. That looked easy. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match by pinfall, Humongous! And in case you blinked, let's take a look back at the action. Humongous is more than just a name. Look at the height on this chokeslam from Johnny Lyons. And Humongous makes short work here today. Can anything stop the big man? Well, you mentioned the Crowleys earlier. Well, speak of the devil. And here they come. And I do mean devil. Humongous communicating with them some way. Basically calling off the dogs, it looks like. Uh, I remember what they did to the pizza guy. There's no way they're just leaving him in the ring. No, they did not call off the dogs. Here come the Crowleys. You know what? You're giving a bad name to dogs. Oh yeah, what a way to start. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Maria, he's Dustin, and welcome to Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Still to come, the in-ring debut of Derek the King, and I'm even hearing that there are rumblings backstage. And of course, the winner of our first ever Cobra Cup tournament, Brett Michaels will receive his trophy from the legend himself, King Cobra. Real quick, let's head to the backstage area to see what's going on. Hello, Championship Wrestling fans. We're back, but I'm going to cut to the chase because it seems like the genetic nightmare has some words to say to Big Swole. I'm, I'm going to let you take it from here. Big Swole, first of all, you don't call me out. I call you out. Who gives a damn what I did to you? Yeah, I attacked you after the match, and as far as your challenge goes, I accept, except we're not going to do it on your time. 
We're going to do it on my time. And my time is today. Last week on Memphis Wrestling. We were caught by surprise as Precious wasn't just hanging out ringside this week. He had a match. Take a look back at the action. Jump started the match, nearly put Simon on the floor for the remainder of this thing. But Lil Chris has the fight, has the heart, was able to make the big comeback. The posse victorious in tag team action. Walking with a vengeance, climbing over the top rope. Look at the size of this guy. Anytime you see the Crowleys, you see Humongous and the size of this man. Big choke slam from the ceiling. He's surely not gonna get this big man up, and he did with ease. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is simply Humongous. Gun Show Lariat might be next. Swigs and he misses. Going for a Bull Nelson. Now we've seen week after week what this Bull Nelson has done. Blocked by Brett Michaels, first man to block it. There's the Ooh. gun show lariat. One, two, three. He it got is. him. Uh, Here comes King Cobra. Next week, he's going to award the trophy to its rightful winner, the gun show Brett Michaels. Memphis Wrestling is back every Saturday at high noon. Join us right now for live chat on youtube.com slash championship wrestling. Do you taste that mesquite butter? Mm. And add all the fixings, bacon, lettuce, grilled onions, pickles, with the barbecue sauce? Mm. Sonic mesquite butter bacon cheeseburger. That's what I'm talking about. Choosing Pro Shingle is like picking the perfect tag team partner, right Dave? You got that right. It's simple and easy. They'll even file your insurance claim for you. Give them a call. Tell them Dave and Dustin sent you. 901-258-6503. My weekly wardrobe is courtesy of the Unique Boutique and Bridal in Bartlett. Hello, Championship Wrestling fans. I am standing here with Smokin' Hot, Nikki Lane, who is a part of the women's division here at Championship Wrestling. And... When I say that, it, it just really feels great because this is the first time in Memphis wrestling history that there will be a women's division. That has got to make you proud to be a part of history. I am. You know, it's, it's an honor. Yeah, th there's been a lot of women that have come before you and the generations after you, but they've never really been a part of a division. So what's the locker room's take on this opportunity to showcase what women are really about in wrestling here in Memphis? Well, so far, everybody's pretty civil. I mean, we all get along. There's no drama. Not really any drama. Just a little bit of drama. You know, there's girls that we hang out with and girls that just want to hang out in the locker room by themselves. You know? Well, I mean, how is the, the environment itself? I mean, you, you mentioned that there is a little bit of drama, but can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, there's this queen Caitlin going around that I have not seen. Have you seen her? Wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, so Queen Caitlin, you mean the one that, that Derek King brought out as his queen, a part of the King's court? You, what, what's, your, what's your beef with her? She thinks she's better than everybody. Look, I've been around a long time, and this little Queen Caitlin I've been talking about gets her own locker room. What's that about? You so, know? so is this, are you trying to say that you're, you're, you want to challenge her for, for her crown? Well, you know I wasn't. But I am now. Introducing first, from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 215 pounds, he's accompanied by Derek the King and the Queen. It's delicious, but vicious. Wait just a second here, fans. Derek the King was scheduled for his in-ring debut today, and he's coming out here in street clothes. Van Vicious apparently is dressed for action. Of course, Queen Caitlin alongside Derek and Van Vicious storing away the jewelry in his briefcase. And Derek just brought the whole fam family out here. Yeah, apparently so. 
What is this all about? Van Vicious in the ring, ready for action, and Derek King is headed to the broadcast location. And Derek, we were expecting to see you in the ring today. Ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Introducing next, from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, the king of pal, Chris Black. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this was supposed to be Derek the King's in-ring debut, but yet you're in street clothes, you're along with the queen, and you're here at the broadcast location. He did say that Van was his muscle. Well, like I said, when you're the king, you can do what you want to do. So you just, I got the queen here, so nobody's worried about it. Wait, 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 wait. So then, you just decide when you want to wrestle and when you don't? That's what royalty does. Oh, boy. Here we go. The bell's ringing. Derek King. Sorry, Derek the King. The King. Get it right. And Queen Caitlin are joining us. Chris Lex in the ring, supposed to be wrestling Derek King, but instead he's wrestling your muscle, Van Vicious. I don't know if he's upset about that or not. Well, I know Derek is happy with it. Well, Chris, well, I know Derek he thinks he's going to be the king of pal. There's oh. only one. Look, I'm Derek the king. Oh, oh. hey, there, there we go. go. You know what? Oh. He has quite a jump on him, but just not high enough. Wow. Our first look here in action at Van Vicious. He calls himself Delicious. Delicious Van Vicious. Delicious Van Vicious. Hmm. I thought he was Prince I got Van a, Vicious. My nice little ring to it. Yeah. Oh. Van Vicious working over Chris Lex. All right, so you teased us about debuting the queen. You teased us, and that finally happened. You teased us about debuting in the ring, and then this happened. So when will we see Derek King in the ring? Soon. Very, very soon. The fans want what they want, Derek. Well, they'll get it when I give it to them. <laughs> Pinfall here. Van Vicious gets a two count. Isn't he great? Well, we're... Getting our first look here at Van Vicious. Almost flawless. Derek King's muscle, so to speak. He is pretty impressive. I will give Derek that. Opening minutes of this contest here. A big chop by Chris Lex, the king of pow. Van Vicious with a knee of his own. Now I'll tell you, Van Vicious better be ready for this contest because Chris Lex is no slouch. We focused a lot of our conversation on Derek, but I want to know when we're going to see the queen in yeah, the ring. Let's hey, talk hey, about hey, the, the queen. The queen is standing right here. Let's not badmouth anybody. I didn't right? did badmouth her. I'm just telling you. Excuse be, you. Excuse you. She'll be in the ring when she's getting ready to be in the ring. She's already at the head and shoulders well, above the best. I mean, let me ask rest, you. So excuse me. Is she allowed to speak for herself? In due time, you will hear. In due time. In due time. The fans are chanting pow for Chris Lex as Van Vicious tries to pull his head off. I mean, doesn't this crowd know he's royalty? Jesus. Well, I am royalty. They know, need to know that. They're Chris cheering Lex. for the wrong guy. Chris Lex fighting. Fighting back here. Hits the ropes. Whoa. Whew. Good Get thing you missed that one. Spine wow. Buster. That could do it. One, two. Uh. Let me guess you taught him that, Derek. I did, you know. It, the, the elevation, you see, I told him, it's slamming really hard down there. Van Vicious looking our way. I think he's looking for a little bit of uh, help from you, Derek. He don't need my help. He's doing a great job. So far, so good. Look at that. Foot to the face. That was beautiful. That was perfect. That should be you in the ring wrestling, Derek. Not he's Van. He's doing a great job. He's doing a great job. CW30 coming into your living room there. More action still to come. Don't go away. Need a quick roof repair? Maybe 5, 10, 15 shingles? Pro Shingles' new speedy shingle service is just what you need. It's quick, fast, and speedy. They can help with even the smallest roofing repairs. Call Pro Shingle now, 901-258-6503. Top of the Line Banquet Hall is a stunning venue in Memphis, perfect for your big day. They can help you create your party, wedding, reception, and more. Check them out at 3674 Ridgeway Road or call 901-396-8684. Unique Boutique and Bridal 
specializes in bridal and evening gowns, prom and mother of the bride dresses. Alterations are available on site. Call 901-383-1544. You have to put good things in to get great barbecue out, and no one in Memphis takes more care than Tops. Our master cooks grill the old-fashioned way, slow, with constant attention in an open pit. See, that's real hickory smoke for even more flavor. From shoulder to ribs or brisket to one of our world-famous burgers, you'll love Tops because we do it right. Real barbecue always has been and always will be. Tops, come get you some barbecue. What's up, Memphis? This is Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Grizzlies, encouraging you all to shop where I shop, Platinum Jewelers here in Memphis. They do custom jewelry and have two locations in the area. One is 545 Perkins Extended in East Memphis. The other is 9387 Poplar next to Fresh Market in Germantown. Go to my spot, Platinum Jewelers. Join us right now for live chat on youtube.com slash championship wrestling. Welcome back. Chris Lex finally able to fight back throughout the break. Has Van Vicious in a rough way. Derek, are you nervous yet? I'm not nervous. He's a royal enforcer. This, this is what he does best. Look at him. He's wearing a guy down. Look, Chris Lex has no place to go. Honestly, Dustin, I think Derek hasn't figured it out. Send someone else in there to do his dirty work. That's He's why I'm the king. definitely done that. A couple of weeks ago, he announces the king will be here. We get Derek, the king. of all people, Derek the king. Queen Caitlin is here. You guys aren't hearing her because Derek maybe won't allow her to hey, talk. Hey, 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 in due time, man, due time. Royal family is coming together, though. I see a, a trend here. Whoa! Whoa. Big back. Body drop from Chris Lex. That did not look so good for your guy, Derek. No, that was a hard landing. Both men are down. He has the breath knocked out of him for sure. Plenty of action on, still to come. On Championship Wrestling from Memphis, also King Cobra will be here to hand over the Cobra Cup to its rightful winner. There's a pin, one. Just a one count. Brett Michaels picked up the big victory last week, Derek. Finally, but he's a, he's a big dude. He's a big dude. Good insight. That's all I got. Big Brett Michaels fan, I can see. We know that he works out several times a day, which is probably more than you, Derek, in your lifetime. Shots have been fired here at the booth. I don't know if that, does that bother you or something? Chris Lex, nobody home. Van Vicious gets out of the way. The only thing that really bothers me is you letting other people do your bidding. Do you know anything about royalty? Yes, I know a lot about royalty. Okay, well, you look at you're sitting next to it. Van Vicious gripping is, Chris Lex by the throat. This is America. We don't have royalty in America. <laughs> you got Derek King. <laughs> Go. Another boot to the pearly whites on Van Vicious. Lex with a sling blade. Come on, Van, get up. That's the voice of Derek King cheering on his royal family in the ring. Van Vicious. He's vicious too, by the way. Substituting, so to speak, for Derek King on his debut. He has been vicious at times, but I don't know if he has what it takes to be the King of Pow. King of Pow landing him right now. Atomic oh, drop. That looked that painful. Hurts. That hurts. <laughs> Definitely hurts the tailbone. Opens them up wide for a European uppercut. This referee has been lenient in the past, and he's continuing that streak. Oh, he's all over it. Allen is all over it. There's the cover. One, two. Did not get him. Uh, Wait, what is what, what is, is going, going on here? here? So... Queen Caitlin is, queen doing? is now at ringside and apparently has dropped off the briefcase that has all the jewels from the royal family in it. Derek, did you put her up to this? No, no, you know, she knows what she's doing. No, no, Derek is, is, is very observing right now. What did you just do, Derek? Hey, I 
did nothing. I, I did nothing. It, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, Queen she, Caitlyn. She's doing exactly what she needs to be doing. On the ring apron. Doing exactly what she needs to be Arguing. Oh. Just Jesus. waffled him. Man, did you waffled. see? What happened? Van, did I say waffle? Van Vicious. What happened? The monitor went out. What happened? Just attacked with his briefcase. There. And Perfect. that's it. Go you Perfect. closed your eyes. That's Perfect. what you did. Perfect. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match by pinball. Delicious. Van Vicious. Don't go anywhere just yet, Derek. Because you got to look at this instant replay. You said you missed it. Your monitor went out. We're taking a look back at the action. Queen Caitlyn not only leaving the broadcast booth, but sliding in the briefcase full of diamonds and jewels and whatever else there might be in there, and hitting Chris Lex from behind to pick up the victory. Royal family is on top. Did it one by, all by himself. He beat him all by himself. Did it all by himself. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to regroup. Stay with us. Wait just a second, fans. We're backstage. Hey man, hey, yeah, do this, yeah, yeah, bro. Hey, we need some help, guys. We need some help. Our Sigma horns, man. The Skimma horns. Check, see if he's all right. Check on, guys. More on this as it develops. Big side slam. Hold him up, one, two, he got wow. him! And all it takes is three seconds. Wait a second. Well, Mike Anthony's not done. Well, this the bell rang, so he is done. What is he doing? Big do? spear. He's been working on those ribs the whole match. Okay, but the bell rang, Dustin. He lost. The match is over. Mike Anthony taking liberties. Here in Memphis, we do things one way. We settle it in the ring. Mike Anthony, that's a challenge. Dustin's weekly wardrobe is courtesy of Suits You. They really suit you. At Suits You, we really suit you. So you have the ice cream with Oreos, crushed, and you have Oreos in the cookie dough. It tastes so cookie E. Cookie E. I don't think you can ever have too much cookie. Sonic Oreo Big Scoop Cookie Dough Blast and Sunday. Cookie E. Brian Trammell and Rhino JB tag team to bring you the all new Championship Wrestling Podcast. Rolling into Mempho. Available now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Memphis Wrestling is back and with an all-new website. Stay up to date and informed on all the latest Memphis Wrestling news, roster updates, and the latest t-shirt drops. Don't forget our brand new Memphis Wrestling podcast, Rolling Into Mempho. Find it all at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. It's time for the Pro Shingles Slam of the Week. Going for a Bull Nelson. Now we've seen week after week what this Bull Nelson has done. Blocked by Brett Michaels, first man to block it. There's oh. the gun show lariat. One, two, three. He it got is. him. Stars and stripes forever. Save $500 on a complete roof replacement. 901-258-6503. Hello, Championship Wrestling fans. We are here with Selena Dean, who's requested some time to talk to you at home. Selena, what's, what's on your mind? Well, <clears throat> buddy... So, you know, I'm hearing that, you know, Nikki Lane, who's smoking hot, by the way, ugh, that's an understatement. Well, anyway, she has to go through me. She's trying to overlook me. I'm new money, baby. So, Nikki, before you, you know, scuttle your way to uh, Queen Caitlyn, you better recognize who you're dealing with because you got to go through me first before you get to the queen.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Honeycomb, Texas, he's the flamboyant mauler, Precious. The flamboyant mauler spent much of the first couple of weeks of championship wrestling from Memphis, seemingly to scout talent. I don't know if he was looking for a tag team partner, an opponent, a group. I don't know exactly what he was looking for, but now? This man took so many notes on these women. There is no telling what he wrote. There is no telling, but he has them scouted. So now he is wrestling the women of the women's division. Last time he competed against Cassandra Golden. Was it sounds a little pretty too fishy cocky. to me, actually. Yeah, he jumped her from behind. We let, no, we let him come out ringside, take all the notes he wanted. No one stopped him. And now he shows up and he's wrestling the women? That don't sound fair. We will keep you up to date on any findings of this situation. More details as they're available as Precious takes his time coming to the ring. Looked like he was communicating with the Memphis wrestling fans as I, he salters his way into the ring. I, I will say he has impressive gear every single week. Yeah, he's looking pretty flamboyant. He had a nice robe last week. He had a couple of good suits, probably from Suits U. Well, he's probably got a really good opponent coming out next. Life gas on blaze, bounce is the craze. Eight wall rules in the beat is paid. And you're seeing that from Newport, Arkansas. Smoking hot, Nikki Lane. And here comes Nikki Lane. Kind of seems like a playful choking kind of look on her face. She's just as surprised as us that she's competing against Precious here today. But also, hearing her words earlier in the broadcast, she kind of has a problem with the queen. I think she has a problem with everybody. The but queen? The who? queen has a problem with everybody? No, Nikki. Nikki oh, has well. a problem with everybody. But I like her. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Fierce competitor. This is not our first look at Nikki Lane, but this is our first look at an intergender competition between I, Nikki Lane and I Precious. think she's got it. She's got it. Nikki Lane ready for action against Precious in this intergender matchup here today on Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Precious said he's going to be red hot in just a minute. I we'll was, see what that means. I was wondering about that. I don't really have any words for that, actually. <laughs> well, we saw Nikki Lane full of smiles on her way to the ring, but the minute she steps inside the squared circle, no more smiles. He asked her why she's smoking hot as if he can't see her. I'm a happily married man. No comment on that. I did get the eyes cut at me, though. All right, looking for our first lockup here. And, of course, Precious just oozing with confidence. And I'm Too not much sure, confidence. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure exactly why. Because we let him in the ringside to take all the notes he wanted. Of course he, he's got confidence. He feels like he knows these women better than anybody well, out here scouting. He does. Strutting around the ring. You guys remember the Fargo strut? This is the Precious strut. Is that what that's called? I guess. Ooh, I was going to say, uh, how does Nikki Lane even lock up with Precious without breaking a smile? But just like that, he flips the switch. You know what? He snake attacked Cassandra Golden in the beginning of their match. That's and a good point. He just full of tricks. He's... It's dirty snake. Well, at least this time the bell rang. Well, that's you got to really look out for for those cheap shots there. Shoots Nikki Lane off the ropes, big elbow. He is a snake in the grass. It's it's almost like to the point where he's kind of uh, bullying. Now he's definitely making fun yeah, of. Yeah, I don't really like and that. The cover one. Ref counted two. Looked like a one all day long to me. Fans are behind Nikki here. I Once think again. everybody at home is probably behind Nikki as well. 
good point there. If you want to see more Nikki Lane, you can check her out at libertyprowrestling.com. Oh. You can even order custom matches. He smacked her in the ribs. With Nikki Lane. libertyprowrestling.com. So I don't know if that's a chop. I don't know exactly what that is. What he just did to her? Yeah. In the boobs or the ribs? I don't know if you could say that on TV. Can okay, we get a check? Know. Can we say that on TV? <laughs> Back handspring and misses the elbow. We just got word you can say boobs on TV. No, I can say it. Okay, you right. cannot say it. Okay, I. let's just start over. Action back in the ring here. Nikki Lane has Precious rocking and rolling. Well, it's about time. It was only a matter of time before she got enough of him. Smoking hot, Nikki Lane. Women's wrestling's best kept secret. Boot to the gut. Hooks Precious. Going for that fisherman suplex, but it's blocked. Precious might be too heavy for Nikki to pick up for that maneuver. Vicious elbow to the back of the head oh, of Lord. Nikki Lane. What in the world? Hey, you don't like that? I do not. I'm not a fan. The uh, the old hip swivel? The hip swivel. Precious. Move I mean, this press, and here comes Nikki Lane, House of Fire. You see what that hip swivel got him? He thought he was distracting her, but really, he distracted himself. That one looks like it hurts. She's hooking him again. <laughs> did he just say? Yeah, he did. Right, we definitely don't want him to, to blow chunks in the ring. Ew, Blocks why? It once, what? Blocks once again. I didn't say it. He said it. No, he did not. You have to come up with the most disgusting term you can. Is there anything more disgusting than the term? I'm not even going to say it. Yeah. Nobody home. Rolls him up. One, two, three. That's it. Really? You know, he had that coming the whole time. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll win the match by pitfall, smoking hot, Nikki Lane. Nikki Lane comes out victorious, and we have a huge grudge match coming up next. Let's take a quick look at what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling. Our next live TV taping is on April 11th. We will determine our first ever Memphis Wrestling Champion. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and be on lookout for an announcement very soon regarding our live TV tapings in May. Mask up Memphis, protect yourself and others from COVID-19 by wearing a mask. That's right, just like this. No, Dustin. No. I got it, hold on. Are you trying to get this wrong? <laughs> the proper way to wear a mask is to cover your nose and your mouth. <laughs> there you go. Prevent the spread, mask up Memphis. Unique Boutique and Bridal specializes in bridal and evening gowns, prom and mother of the bride dresses. Alterations are available on site. Call 901-383-1544. Championship Wrestling joins forces with Grind City Designs to bring you the all new Championship Wrestling Shop. All styles, all sizes, featuring the legends of classic Memphis wrestling. Pickup or delivery. <laughs> What's up, Memphis? This is Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Grizzlies, encouraging you all to shop where I shop, Platinum Jewelers here in Memphis. They do custom jewelry and have two locations in the area. One is 545 Perkins Extended in East Memphis. The other is 9387 Poplar next to Fresh Market in Germantown. Go to my spot, Platinum Jewelers. Yes, of course I'm proud of Brett Michael. The man get out there and he win three matches in three weeks in a row. That's a big task right there. But he did it. He fought hard. He earned it. He won the Cobra Cup. And I'm going to be proud to get out there and shake his hand, raise his hand, and present him with the Cobra Cup.
This is our main event and is scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. Introducing first, from Chicago, Illinois, he is Genetic Nightmare, Mike Anthony. Mike Anthony headed to the ring for this big special grudge match. Mike Anthony answered the challenge of Big Swole Justin Cole earlier in the program and he didn't want to wait. Big Swole, a couple of weeks back, said there's only one way to handle our differences, and that's inside the squared circle. And Mike Anthony said, you got it, but we're going to do it today. I look forward to the retribution. Introducing next from Memphis, Tennessee, it's Big Swole, Justin Cole. And here comes the big man sipping on a protein shake. That's Big Swole, Justin Cole, and you can bet your bottom dollar he showed up for a fight. He has lost the rib bandages this week, so I hope he's back. Just to take you guys back to round one action. Big punches, actually round two action. Big chop. Big swole, Justin Cole did pick up the big victory. That was round one. Picked up the big victory. Mike Anthony attacks after the match, just upset with himself for losing. Cowering in the corner. That is about right. He is a sore loser and he is a coward. Big clotheslines from Big Swole. Fireman carry situation. Yikes. Oh. Reverse DDT, that might be it. One, two, almost got him. Big I mean, Swole. he might be a coward, but that wasn't gonna be it. Big Swole feels like that he could have won the Cobra Cup had he not been injured by Mike Anthony. And he wasn't complaining about it. Honestly, I feel like he's absolutely right. He was stating the facts. Mike Anthony attacked him after the match. Sore loser. Now it's time to pay the price. Big backdrop from Big Swole, Justin Cole. The match was over. He couldn't accept the results like other people in this country. And he threw a hissy fit. I see what you did there. Big Swole looking, looking 100%. I don't know if he is or not. Using the referee oh. as a shield and then tripping Big Swole off the middle rope. I guess that's one way to do it. Honestly, that should have been an automatic disqualification, I feel like. Putting your hands on the referee is a surefire way to, to get disqualified. Mike Anthony just stomping away at the lower back and rib area. Well, I can tell you if Dave was on commentary with us, he would be talking about how lenient the ref is. Oh, he'd bury that ref six feet under. Punt <laughs> well, kick. I don't want to do that. Punt kick once again to the ribs. That's kind of what got us in this situation. Clubbing blows. You talk about a guy that's got a chip on his shoulder and thinks he's bigger and badder than everybody else in the building. That's Mike Anthony, the self-made savage. If he was being strategic, he should go for the ribs. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there it goes. Back on the ribs putting his knees into the nether region. That is the nether region, right? Uh, I don't think so. I heard Gordon Soley say that one time, or maybe Lance Russell. Oh. Kick to the back. And then right back to the ribs. I would keep your quotes of Lance Russell far and few between because. Because I'm no Lance Russell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a banana nose either. Mike Anthony going for the fall. Two count. Leg scissors. Now, the tough part about the leg scissors is a lot of time it takes just as much out of the man giving the move than the man receiving it because it takes every single bit of energy that you have to apply the pressure to possibly get a submission. Yeah, like when I gave birth, I had to squeeze my legs like that, and it takes just as much energy. You're right. Now that we all have a very good visual here on Championship Wrestling from Memphis, you should see the look on my Maria's face right now. I just love to make your face red. It's similar to the look on Justin Cole's face right now. Look at that. In some pain. And now you see Mike Anthony gripping his own foot to apply more pressure. 
He's so close to that rope. Just a few more inches. He'll get a clean break if he, you see the feet have been separated just a little bit by Mike Anthony. Mm -hmm. He's almost there. And he got it, got to break the hold. Count of five. Remember fans, still to come. Memphis wrestling legend King Cobra will award the Cobra Cup to its rightful winner, the gun show, Brett Michaels, right here on today's program. How about that for a technical wrestling maneuver? You just stand on the guy. Just stand on him, you know. Well, I don't want anybody standing on me, so. Well, that's what I'm Could saying. Could be a good strategy. Big Swole doesn't either. He's fighting back up. Oh. Looks like a flapjack. Didn't get all of that flapjack, though. Big Swole is just so big. He's so swole. <laughs> big and swole. What's Mike Anthony have up his sleeve now? Hooking him for a big Whoa. suplex. He got it. Float over one, two, almost got it. I am impressed he got him all the way over his shoulder. He is a big dude. The strength and power of Mike Anthony combined with that terrible attitude that he has. A terrible, and he is way too close to the ref's face for COVID times. I mean, I know everybody got a COVID test, but come on. That's right. We are all tested before we're able to enter the facility here. We're at 25% capacity at top of the line banquet hall. You can come visit us for our live television tapings at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. Grab your tickets. Ringside is only 15 if you get your hands on one. General admission, just 10. And of course, kids 10 and under are only five bucks. Mike Anthony just putting it to Big Swole. Mike Anthony with a bear hug, trying to put Big Swole away. The action continues. Top of the Line Banquet Hall is a stunning venue in Memphis, perfect for your big day. They can help you create your party, wedding, reception, and more. Check them out at 3674 Ridgeway Road or call 901-396-8684. Unique Boutique and Bridal specializes in bridal and evening gowns, prom and mother of the bride dresses. Alterations are available on site. Call 901-383-1544. Let's take a quick look at what's coming up for Memphis Wrestling. Our next live TV taping is on April 11th. We will determine our first ever Memphis Wrestling Champion. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com and be on lookout for an announcement very soon regarding our live TV tapings in May. Mask up Memphis, protect yourself and others from COVID-19 by wearing a mask. That's right, just like this. No, Dustin, no. I got it, hold on. Are you trying to get this wrong? <laughs> the proper way to wear a mask is to cover your nose and your mouth. <laughs> There you go. Prevent the spread, mask up Memphis. Choosing Pro Shingle is like picking the perfect tag team partner, right Dave? You got that right. It's simple and easy. They'll even file your insurance claim for you. Give them a call. Tell them Dave and Dustin sent you. 901-258-6503. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Memphis. You can see Mike Anthony still hammering away on those injured ribs of Big Swole Justin Cole. And this whole situation, the whole issue festered over Big Swole defeating Mike Anthony in the Cobra Cup tournament, only for Mike Anthony to attack Big Swole after the match. Like a child. And then, of course, those injuries played a key role into Swole being eliminated from the tournament. Calls out and makes a challenge to Mike Anthony, who was just more than happy to oblige. I mean, and do you know what are. the beef is? Just because he lost sour grapes? Well, he, yeah, he lost and attacked Big Swole. Here we are. Well, I know that, but I mean. Into the corner. He lost. Why are you mad, bro? You mad, bro? Big boot by Big Swole. Oh, that. Right back to the gut. He took just an extra second to shout out the Swole Patrol, and that cost him. You know what? From this view, it looked a little bit lower than the gut. Oh, boy. They are going to the top rope here. I do not advise. 
High risk, high rewards, sometimes. Yeah, I was about to say, we haven't seen too many high rewards after high risks. Big Swole hooks Mike Anthony. What's he gonna do? Oh. Big Superplex! How did he get him around? I don't know, but they're both dead now. Both men are down. The referee starts his count. Big Swole, Justin Cole has been running through mud this whole time. It's been very hard to get any traction with Mike Anthony constantly working on those injured ribs. And I know Swole's out here without any bandages or anything like that, but you know his ribs are still hurting him, especially after the way that this, this match has gone. Both men getting to their feet. Actually at the same time, big shot. Right back at you from Big Swole. Back and forth. <laughs> that one knocked Mike Anthony for a loop. And here comes Big Swole. Haymakers. Big boot. Looks like a rib cord. Once again, the back issue. Blocked by Big Swole. Rolls him up. One, two, three. He got him. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner match by pinball. Big Swole. Justin Cole. Big win. Big statement issued as we take a look back at the action. These guys coming off the top rope. Big Swole with a huge suplex on Mike Anthony before putting him away and getting retribution, as you like to call it, my Maria. Well, I do notice that Justin Cole left pretty quickly. He was not getting attacked this time after the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, Memphis wrestling legend King Cobra is here. And he's here to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to award the Cobra Cup to its rightful winner, and that's the gun show, Brett Michaels, and it's all happening. by Brett Michaels, first man to block it. There's the gun show lariat. One, two, three, he got him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Memphis. As you can see, the Memphis wrestling legend himself, King Cobra has stepped between the ropes inside the squared circle 
where today he is going to award that trophy, the Cobra Cup, to its rightful winner, Gun Show Brett Michaels. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winner of the Cobra Cup, Brett Michaels. What a feeling this must be for that man right there, the gun show Brett Michaels. He's not new to Memphis Wrestling or the Mid-South. He's been at it for over 20 years. And right here on Championship Wrestling from Memphis, he's finally getting his just due. Well deserved, he beat opponent after opponent. King Cobra raising the hand of the big man, handing over the trophy, and gonna step aside and let the young man have his spotlight. That's the gun show, Brett Michaels. He is your Cobra Cup winner, and I know he's probably gonna be drinking protein shakes out of that cup. <laughs> I hope he washes it first, but yeah. That's the man right there. The gun show, Brett Michaels. Wait, just a second, fans. Who is this? That's, that's a blast from the past. There's Johnny Dotson from Memphis Wrestling yeah, Days. what's he doing out here? I have no idea. And who's that behind I'm, him? I know exactly who that is behind him, but why he is he better look him? out. There's the attack. That's Alan Steele, the Memphis Mauler. We haven't seen him in four weeks. Where has he been? Where have both of these guys been? Johnny Dotson and Alan Steele putting down Brett Michaels two on one, choking the life out of him while Johnny does the dirty work. And what are these gloves? Alan Steele has gloves on. No proof. And he's staring at that cop. He's leaving no fingerprints behind. A crime has just happened, ladies and gentlemen. Why, Alan Steele, why? And now he has the cup. I don't, those gloves look familiar. Maybe a little OJ Simpson-y. And he just smashes the Cobra Cup. How disrespectful. Alan Steele just stepped on the heritage of Memphis wrestling. And now he's rubbing Brett Michaels' face in it. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, spitting in the face of the heritage of Memphis wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, thank goodness we're out of time this week. Disgusting display by Johnny and Allen. We'll see you right here next week, folks. Disgusting. Can't believe it. Allen Steele and Johnny Dotson. I hope they're happy. <laughs>